Hello and welcome to CMT Stuttgart, which is the, I believe, the second largest motorhome event in Europe, uh, if not in the world. There may be one in the United States which is, is bigger than this, I don't know. Over the first weekend, so it's now Sunday, first weekend, 80,000 visitors which is uh, almost as many as was at, for example, Dusseldorf Caravan Salon in tw 2020. Of course, we did have in that year COVID and uh, numbers were limited. I'm now going to take you round uh, some of the stands. You will see some of these vehicles from the outside and I shall give a bit of an explanation of what they are. Now, a lot of the stuff you see here is uh, heavy duty 4x4 stuff. So we started this company, Dorpfer. They do 4x4. Uh, and this one here, Bimobile, is very well uh, known as a company which uh, manufactures uh, for expeditions, uh, largely on the Mercedes base, but also on Iveco and uh, um, just uh, on, on, on Toyota and uh, at least the cabins are for Toyota and uh, VW I think I can't remember and uh, so we'll have a quick walk around but what can be seen here uh, overland vehicles obviously they're built for toughness and not for uh, luxurious living so to speak um, here we have Silver Dream and what they are, it's got this word here, monocoque. Monocoque means to, uh, it's a, a single shell. So what you can see is that it's entirely uh, in one piece. And uh, well, the advantage of that is that it's not glued together. And if it's sort of the walls normally get a, a motorhome and what they do is they have four bits and they stick them together using glue or sellotape or whatever they've got to hand. But with a single shell, it's one piece. Now the problem is though, the single shell must be made in a sort of an oven and they have a template for it. And the, uh, building these templates uh, is a very expensive business. And that's why uh, with a single shell vehicle, it ends up costing so much money now uh here's a company which i to quite honest i hadn't actually heard of before so fit camper vision from turkey and i see that they're making camper vans and uh, these uh, uh, uh off-road caravans which is a rather unusual uh layout in there but i don't really know anything about caravans so i won't talk too much about that here we have morello which uh, makes uh, these uh, very luxurious vehicles. But here's one that uh, appears to me to be brand new. Now you see some older Morellos with the cab over, and, uh, but this is the first new one for some time. And uh, so it's on an Iveco basis, and uh, that's what it looks like. Anyway, look, you have to see this inside in, uh, in different video. And now, some of them you can get a car in the garage. There's a smart going in. And um, I was parked in a place um, a couple of years ago and somebody had the smart, uh, or, or a small car, I think it was a smart, and he pulled it in. Uh, okay, it, was, um, it wasn't really difficult. But what you do is you actually you don't actually drive it in. You drive it more or less to where it is now. And then the, there's a pulley system which pulls it inside. Now, a vehicle like this one here, this Palace Liner, um, well, I'll give you that. Oops, nearly, nearly tripped over the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the, the Hoover, uh, the, the, the cable. There you go. Sorry, that's, the, what am I doing? Where's the price? Oh, there it is, sorry. Half a million, half a million euros. And, uh, so you'll probably think, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I'll have two. So. Uh, coming up here, uh, so we'll have a bit more walk around and here we have Concord. Concord uh, is located very close to Morello and then we have another company over there which is Phoenix and Concord and Phoenix are right next to each other. Indeed, they are separated by a uh, Stellplatz, uh, the parking, the, the motorhome parking, 
and uh, which it's a very nice place. There's only a small village, and I've got these two um, luxury camper van, uh, sorry, motorhome manufacturers in there. And the strange thing about Phoenix is, you see here, they've got a number of vehicles. In fact, we'll walk over now and have a look at them uh, from the outside. And what is really strange is, they don't seem to have a very large amount of production space. Uh, now, when I was in Ashback the last time, uh, what, what we saw, uh, what I saw was that uh, they seem to have increased their production plate space. But to be quite honest, it doesn't really look much bigger than my garage, never mind uh, uh, anything else so uh, anyway we'll have a look look around here and see what we can see so now again you're looking at you know half a million uh, that type in fact we'll just have a walk over just take this one as an example and there you see yeah, 400 400 thousand so I mean that's obviously on special offer so we'll have uh, we'll have three of them I think so uh, here's Wingham which is uh, a very attractive small um, uh, what do you call it? monocoque uh, motorhomes uh, and uh, I'll bring you down here to Concord there we see yet another um, vehicle uh, um, motorhome which will has a garage for a car and this car is even bigger than the the, the earlier one the, the liner from Concord Concord produces, I think, somewhere like 400 vehicles or so per year. I think for Phoenix, only about 100. I think I might be wrong on that one. And uh, but uh, extremely luxurious uh, vehicles. Now, as you saw, people are were leaving because it was chuck out time when I started to actually film. So that was why people were just walking out, and I'm making the most to actually show you the vehicles which are here still available and uh, this is how the other half lives quite literally um, I'll take you down here we've got one or two um, others that we have these uh, cabin um, pickup cabin uh, types of, vi of vi things again once more you can see single shell and uh, the single shell has the same advantages uh, that was, it would have in a motorhome. Here we have uh, uh, Rubel, uh, um, and uh, this has the benefit of a ceramic roof, uh, which would, uh, um, again, they, these vehicles actually, they've got a very small footprint, but they have a lot actually inside. So you've got two, two and three centimeters of standing height up there and uh, and a rear lounge and so there's a few more bimobiles up there and finally I'm going to take you down here to show you a, a, a vehicle I've showed quite a lot of uh, is the uh, the Sky Dancer which is in the process of development and so what we've got here is uh, Okay, it's not it's obviously it's not quite finished, so it hasn't got a front on it. But see the glass, fr um, the glass bit at the top. You've got a raised uh, driving position. You've got uh, so there's four seats up there which turn around, so one can enjoy the open air or driving uh, in the open air. And uh, the and this, uh, roof comes across, uh, and that I think is a. Uh, that's a really original idea and it's in the process now this is a, this is a prototype which is the development of which is underway so uh, I'll come back and do other videos on that indeed I'll do videos on a lot of the vehicles that we have seen in this video now uh, so uh, I hope you found that of interest and uh, thanks very much for being here today and uh, uh, so it's all the best for me. I shall be uploading uh, constantly during my time at this event and uh, and you can also find all sorts of other motorhomes on this channel. So thanks for being with me here and all the best for me in Stuttgart, 
Germany.